Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. First night of action for the uh, 2024 Winter or Spring Meet. 555 first post, about 25 minutes away. Nine races, no carryovers this evening. Opening night for the Winter Spring Session. Let's get right into our changes. As always, the opener will begin the early double, the early pick three, and our early pick five. Race one is clear of change. No changes in the Wednesday night openers. And there they go. Slow start, DDB. Lucky Anna begins the best. Pretty hard is forwardly positioned along with Flores along the inside. Split decision comes away running in fourth. Athenaeus from her outside. DDB from the extreme outside. Satisfied is the gray. And Cinderella Story is the early trailer. It's Lucky Anna making the pace, and Pretty Heart follows the leader from the second spot. Flores is third, and here's Athenaeus trying to assume that position from her outside, getting within about three and a half lengths of Lucky Anna. Better than a length back to DDB. Split decision from between gals, satisfied from her inside, and from the far outside races Cinderella Story. So it is Lucky Anna, 25 seconds the opening quarter. A length plus advantage to Pretty Hard, who remains very close from the second spot. Athenaeus and Flora share third. DDB is in the fifth position, a little less than four lengths off the lead. And we're going to Cinderella story, split decision, and satisfied along the inside. Lucky Anna still with the lead, almost a length. From the outside is Pretty Hard. And Flores inches a little closer, and here's DDB putting in her kick to the outside. She makes a move for second, three deep. And Cinderella Story's trying to wind up with the pink silks and the black cap, but she's under a vigorous drive. Can she sustain this momentum? Athenaeus gets an inside split, turning into the lane, and she's only about three and a half from Lucky Anna. Lucky Anna tackled by Flores. Cinderella Story to the stand side. Athenaeus tries to stride into fourth along the inside, getting within a length and a half of Lucky Anna. It's Lucky Anna with the lead. Flores is on the, on the attack. And here comes Cinderella Story to the outside. And Satisfied's hitting her best stride. Cinderella Story. Cinderella Story and Satisfied in a photo to start this card. Flores was third. And Split Decision checked in fourth for the Superfecta. Cinderella Story trying to get to the wire in front of Satisfied. Pretty good Bob for Cinderella Story. 142 and 77 one hundredths. We shall see who wins this Wednesday night opener. Cinderella Story at five to one. Same price as Satisfied. Make sure to hold all tickets until results have been declared official. Entering the winner's circle is number four, Cinderella Story. It's the Cinderella story here in the first at Turfway Park. And she's about five to one. It's my little Caddyshack reference for the evening here with Cinderella story. A four-year-old dark bear brown filly by Cairo Prince. Out of the hat trick mare, two below. Owned and trained by Raymond Paquette III. How about Fernando de la Cruz? He had a four on Saturday and he's right back at it here in 2024. Wasting no time getting to the winner's circle. Mr. de la Cruz. When it was bred in Kentucky by the estate of Harvey Clark. And 4-1 exact of $106.12. Four one two trifecta, $163.12. 10 cents super $205.64. Dollar super $2,056.45. Second race, a field of nine after the scratch is six and seven. Extra, extraordinary, and Blackfoot, a daisy, six and seven, both scratch from tonight's second race. Five and 11, both racing with Lasix. Pop is ice and brew ha ha. Five and 11, both racing with Lasix. 10 waggle pass, one pound over. Second race will start the early pick four. Post time in 21 minutes at 6.25. For the start of the early pick four. And there they go, and it's Brouhaha with that sharp start from the far outside. The other debutante, Indian Inc., they get acquainted, and Indian Inc. will pick it up. And uh, Tamborella is showing plenty of early foot. They're going to Beauty in the Bolt. Pop is ice with the blue silks. Don's Creed from the rail. High fashion Kate. She is in the two path with the red cap. And the last two are Windy Walk along with Waggle Pass. 
So with the lead, Tamburell and Indian Inc. They lead by two lengths to Don's Creed. High Fashion Kate, Papa's Ice, three wide. Bruhaha is 40, heading into the turn, and she's five lengths off the lead. Waggle Pass and Wendy walk it a little closer to her. So they race to the three eights. Indian Inc. has a narrow lead right there from the inside. Tamburella, they continue to mix it up. Don's Creed is third. High Fashion Kate's being pushed on from the fourth spot. Five lengths from Indian Inc., one of the debutantes. Indian Inc. looks pretty good near the quarter pole. Tamburella comes under pressure. Likewise for, likewise for Don's Creed. And trying to rally a little bit is Waggle Pass, but she is in the fifth position, and she's a long ways from Indian Inc. And it's Indian Inc.'s race past the eighth pole, and she has kicked well clear. Indian Inc., very impressive in her initial look. Here's Waggle Pass solidifying second. It's a good race for third. Wendy walks into the third spot. Indian Inc., very solid first impression. Waggle Pass was second, then Wendy Wachek in third, and fourth place to Beauty and the Bolt for the Superfecta. You only get one chance to make a very favorable first impression. And how about Indian Inc. this evening? Very good looking winner. 120 and 47 one hundredths, the final running time. 10 waggle pass up for the second spot. Third place, nine, Windy Walk. Fourth place to the four, Beauty and the Bolt. Eight, 10, nine, four unofficially in tonight's second race. And the winner's circle is number eight, Indian Inc., one of the two debutantes. Three-year-old Dark Bear Brown Philly by Run Happy out of the Archmare, Gold Vault by Cherry Valley Farm LLC. Winning trainer is Thomas Drury, and the winning jockey is Edgar Morales. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Cherry Valley Farm LLC. Late 10, 9 4, the top four finishers. That exact is $64.50. The trifecta, $162.16. Four eight early double, $46.80. 10 cent super, $326.31. Dollar superfecta. $3,263.19. So a couple of nice superfectas to start our Wednesday night action. Third race offers a double and a mid pick three. Scratch number nine, Summer Assault. And post time is in 22 minutes at 6.55. And there they go. Slow start for Bluegrass Parkway. Hague Point not that quickly into stride. Stitzy also a slow beginner. Driftwood got a sharp start from the inside. Versatile is up close along with Macho Justice and Gita's lad from the far outside. Smokey Lee's up close. He's the gray right off the footsteps of Driftwood. So it is Driftwood with the lead. Versatile's in the two path. Gita's lad from the far outside and Smokey Lee runs with them from the rail. Macho Justice is back to the fifth position flanked by Stitzy. Length or so to comedic timing. Another two lengths to Major Sparks. Hague Point second last in Bluegrass Parkway. The favorite's the last of 10, and he's a good 10 lengths off the lead near the 5'8". And up the Turfway Park backstretch, and Driftwood has the lead about a length and a half. Keita's lad is second, Smokey Lee third with Versatile from the outside. Ranging into the fifth position is Stitzy with those white colored silks. He is three deep. Comedic timing is a good four lengths off the pace. And going with him is Macho Justice. Now making a nice sweeping move is Major Sparks. Major Sparks is closing a lot of ground to the outside. He's gone from sixth to second, just like that, with a lot of momentum after Driftwood. Driftwood has the lead. Major Sparks continues with this big run. Smokey Lee's being pushed on. Comedic timing has a good enough stride near the quarter pole, and he's worked away from the inside. Bluegrass Parkway's trying to begin his bid with Hague Point. Comedic timing has all sorts of momentum at the 3 6 stage. He's right alongside of Driftwood. Major Sparks is third, far outside. There is a Bluegrass Parkway, and he's continuing with this strong run despite that slow start. Here comes Bluegrass Parkway after comedic timing. Comedic timing tends to his business and hangs on. He keeps Bluegrass Parkway at bay. Major Sparks was third. Driftwood checked in fourth. Good horse race in the final furlong, final 16th between a comedic timing and a bluegrass parkway. Five to one versus two to one. 147 and 47 one hundredths the final time. 
Six comedic timing, the unofficial winner. Second place, 10, Bluegrass Parkway. Third place, a seven, Major Sparks. Fourth place, number one, Driftwood. In the winner's circle is number six, comedic timing, his fourth career victory, a six-year-old at Bay Gelding by Into Mischief. Of the Lemon Drop Kid Mayor, Madame Dulac. By Gumster Stable LLC, winning a trainer is Cipriano Contreras, winning jockey Tyler Gunner. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Hinkle Farms. Here's that 10 cent Superfecta, $33.68. Dollar Super, $336.80. 4 8 6 early pick three, $209.64. 6 10 double, $40. 6 10 7 trifecta, $35.79. 8 6 dollar double, $37.39. Tonight's fourth race will begin the 20 cent single six jackpot. Two and 13, both scratched. Elegant taste in my Angelica. 14 draws in off the also eligible. 14, little Lucerita has a jockey change to Isaiah Ayala. Six high meadows, two pounds over the weight. 11, get none with an additional workout. Right here at Turfway Park, Vast Track, 28th of December, 3 8 37 seconds breezing. And there they go. Lady in heels quickly away. Little Lucerito flashing plenty of speed from the far outside. Go Storm and Girl from between runners is up close from third. Whiskey Sis from her inside. The favor get none from her outside with the black silks is three lengths off the lead. It's about three lengths to my Tommy Lee and Yogurt. Beach Kitten runs after them, joined by Juarez. And farther out in the field, there is High Meadows. Racing with High Meadows towards the tail of the field is up in arms. And Quiet Dawn, Lady in Heels, has scampered clear near the 3 8 Builds up nearly three lengths to Whiskey Sis. Here's Get None making a move into second. And she's closing in pretty nicely on Lady in Heels. But Lady in Heels is traveling equally as well near the quarter pole. She's the one to come and beat. Lady in Heels from Get None, Whiskey Sis from the inside. My Tommy Lee covers Little Lucerito. Beach Kitten tries to advance up the inside. They're going to go Storm and Girl. And farther out races Yogurt. Waris from between runners there is Quiet Dawn. Nobody is stepping up to Lady in Heels. Lady in Heels clear at the 16. Into the second spot, Beach Kitten. Lady in Heels getting a little tired. Beach Kitten's coming with a big run to the outside. And this one's tight on the line. Boy, I would have given everything on Lady in Heels near the 16th. Beach Kitten with a powerful stride. It got very tight. Quiet Dawn's after them with My Tommy Lee. This one got very interesting on the line. 113 and 51 one hundreds. Boy, Lady in Heels looked like she had it all wrapped up. What about that final furlong from Beach Kitten? Looking at the slow-mo, she looks like the one. Make sure to hold all tickets. Placing judges are sorting it all out here in the fourth. Beach Kitten is in the winner's circle. This is her third career victory. She is a five-year-old gray roan mare by Creative Cause. Out of the Kitten's Joy Mare, High Wire Kitten. Owned by CLR Racy. Winning trainer is Jerome Miller. Winning a jockey is Farron Peterson. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey. And here are the prices. 4-3 exact of $42.96. 431 trifecta, $172.06. 10 cents superfecta, $309.38. Dollar superfecta, $3,093.88. 864 pick three, $134.15. Dollar double, 64 the winning combination, $44.94. Tonight's fifth race will start our late pick five. Tyler Connor, new jockey number four, fantastical. Scratch 12 Zang, 12 Zang scratch from tonight's fifth. 13, what's right is right, will draw in off the also eligible list. Late pick five, 22 minutes away at 7.55. And there they go. Awkward start, proud DV, what's right is right, like a quarter horse from the far outside, Aldora also quickly into stride. And also there is Poolside with Slim and Nice as Pies into the shared fourth spot. Fantastical races outside of Dianthus. Going with them 
His Sintra in the clear, a little less than five lengths off the lead. Tap the Champagne is about six or seven lengths from the front. Then Proud Divi, Pink Moon, the favorite, outspoken is second last. And Crazy Stacks is the last of all, and they race to the three-eighths. And with the lead, what's right is right with the killer crossover. Bounding away from that starting gate, she has the lead. Pull side with Slim comes with her run along with Nice as Pie. Fantasticals picking up momentum into the fourth spot. And Sintra is now trying to show some promise. She's about four or five lengths off the lead. Aldora just in front of her. Nothing yet from Outspoken. Pull side with Slim is up to the front. Nice as Pie goes with her. Fantasticals trying to make her presence felt in the final furlong. She's going to have to giddy up if she wants to get to Nice. Nice as pie and pull side with slim. Nice as pie. Pull side with slim. Nice as pie. It's time for pie. 14 to 1. Nice as pie from pull side with slim. Then fantastical Dianthus, a distant fourth for the Superfecta. Nice as pie at 14 to 1. I do believe that was Scott Shapiro's top pick. $30 winner from Shap. Nice as pie, big, big number. Good effort from 10, poolside with Slim. So this is some big prices here. Or Fantastical, also a big price. And then you get Diantha, so bombs away in tonight's fifth. Seven, 10, four, three. Big, big numbers in tonight's fifth race, that vital running time. 111 and 17 100s kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. And the winner's circle is seven nice as pie. Scott Shapiro giving out this one at 14 to 1, a three year old of A Philly by Tapature out of the Include Mare. How nice! By Dee Dee McGee. L.C. Danner, the winning trader, winning jockey, Adam Baskitza. And it was bred in Kentucky by her owner, Dee Dee McGee. Early pick for $3,738 a six cents. 10 cents super, better than $5,100, better than $51,000 for a dollar super. The exact of $424.52. Trifecta twelve hundred one dollars seventy seven cents four seven a double two hundred twenty three dollars six cents. Not a bad double. That's the start of the pick six, the twenty cent single six. All right there's the early pick four ten cent super five thousand one hundred sixty three dollars twenty three cents dollar super fifty one thousand six hundred thirty two dollars thirty one cents six four seven pick three six hundred sixty six dollars ninety two cents. Early pick five, $28,959.66. Four out of five, $225.89. So better than 28 Gs for that early pick five. Better than $51,000 for the dollar superfecta. Curfway Park strikes again. Race six, starting our late pick four at the classic distance of a mile and a quarter. Eight Little Dixie ownership line should read. Mark Milliner along with Nancy C. Our late pick four, 22 minutes away. 8.50 is the post. Uh. And there they go. Very awkward start, Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge made a mess of the start. Can't keep me down, had a little bit of trouble. Shortly thereafter, in the meantime, Little Dixie is up to the front from the favorite when the dawn breaks. Birdie Rose is forwardly positioned. Endless from the inside. Evita from the far outside. Color Crush with the green silks. Can't keep me down is second last. And Tower Bridge made a mess of the start. She is the distant trailer. Passed us for the first time, and it is Little Dixie with the lead from the big favorite when the dawn breaks. Birdie Rose in the clear, stalking from the outside. Endless is along the rail. Color Crush with the green silks. Evita's three wide. Can't keep me down is a little more than six or seven lengths off the pace, and it's better than three to Tower Bridge. We're going to call it just shy of ten lengths from first to last, and it still is Little Dixie with the lead when the dawn breaks. Stalks very intently from her outside, and Birdie Rose is forwardly positioned in the clear. Endless continues to save ground. Color crush all over her. Avita bides her time. Three deep, three lengths off the lead. A length and a half for two to can't keep me down. And Tower Bridge is still at the back. 
They race up the Turfway Park backstretch. Here comes Birdie Rose, three wide. When the dawn breaks from between gals, Little Dixie is back to third. Avita strides into the fourth position, three lengths to find, heading into the turn. Color Crush is a little less than four and a half off the lead. Almost three parts of a length. To the outside, can't keep me down. They're going to Tower Bridge and Endless. In the meantime, Birdie Rose has the lead. When the dawn breaks, was traveling a little awkwardly. Now she has regained her rhythm, and here she comes once again. Birdie Rose, when the dawn breaks, gets within a length and a half at the top of the lane. Birdie Rose has the lead. When the dawn breaks, is being pushed on vigorously. Little Dixie from the inside. Can't keep me down. Strides into the fourth spot. Birdie Rose at the eighth pole, the one to come and beat. She works with about a length and a half. When the dawn breaks, continues to pursue this leader under a relentless rally. Birdie Rose, here comes when the dawn breaks. Here's the people's champion when the dawn breaks. At four to five, a hard-earned victory. She did it the old-fashioned way. Birdie Rose was second, third, and fourth involves. Can't keep me down, Little Dixie. A relentless rally from the favorite when the dawn breaks. Birdie Rose had all the advantage at the 316. Still looked pretty strong past the eighth pole. Axel Concepcion with a strong ride on six when the dawn breaks, who comes a calling in the final stages to win the money as the people's champion at four to five. Heck of an effort from seven birdie rows at a big, big price. Two minutes, seven and 69 one hundredths. The final time from tonight, six. We need a photo third and fourth. Please hold all tickets. In the winner's circle is the six when the dawn breaks. A five-year-old bay mare by Ghost Zapper registering her second career victory. She's by the Empire Maker mare, Mushka. The owner is Michael De Brolio. The trainer is Brad Cox. The bug boy, Axel Concepcion, is the winning jockey. The winner was bred in Kentucky by SF Bloodstock LLC along with Matthew Sandblum. 10 cents Superfecta, $54.49. Dollar Superfecta, $544.94. 476 pick three, $232.13. 67 exact of $52.98. 671 trifecta, $62.22. 76 daily double, $36.14. Tonight's seventh race, Scratch A. Katie got lucky. Seventh race will start our late pick three, 21 minutes away at 9.22. And there they go. Tall girl from the far outside is showing some good speed. Crystal Snow looks like she'll pick it up from her immediate inside. Now showing is asked for run along the inside. Collect a little is there with Mazoku. And I got a bolt. At the tail of the field is Baytown Lovely. Crystal Snow from the far outside has a narrow lead. Collect the Lil and now showing or battling for the top spot. I got a bolt vies for fourth with Mazoku and Tall Girl from the extreme outside. Baytown Lovely's at the back. Three by three by one heading into the far turn run. Now showing along the inside. Crystal Snow three wide. Collect the Lil from between gals. Tall Girl's committed to a very wide run. She's trying to move into contention outside of Mazoku. They are four and five wide at the inside. I got a bolt. And Baytown Lovely's at the back. They're stacked across the track. Here's Tall Girl and Mazoku. Tall Girl five deep. Mazoku four wide. Crystal Snow three wide. Collect a little in the two path. Now showing from the rail. I got a bolt trying to find somewhere to split along the inside. Tall Girl with the overland routes up to the front. Tall Girl has come away with the lead at the eighth pole. And up the inside, still fighting on. I got a bolt in the two path. It's Tall Girl. I got a bolt from the rail. Tall Girl, I got a bolt. Mazoku far outside. Baytown Lovely. Tall Girl. Tall Girl from Baytown Lovely who flew home late. I got a bolt. Had all sorts of trouble. Then Mazoku. Crystal Snow. Collect a little. And at the tail now showing. One minute 20 and 89 one hundredths, the final running time. Boy, they were stacked across the track at the quarter pole. Tall girl with the overland route. Five to one, she is the unofficial winner. Five, Baytown Lovely flew home late for second. Three, I got a bolt, had all sorts of trouble. She's third, fourth place four, Mazoku. Seven, five, three, four, unofficially in tonight's seventh. 
Tall girls in the winter circle. Four-year-old Chestnut Billy by first samurai out of the Singspiel mare. Miss Sing Six. Owned by William Nix. Spice Stable LLC and Randy Klopp. Randy is the winning trader, winning jockey, Alberto Burgos. And it was bred in Kentucky by Adrian O'Regan along with Fergus Galvin. Here we go at the prices, 7.5 exact at $95.46, 753 trifecta, $204.90. 10 cent super, 7534, $215.96. Dollar super, $2,159.68. Six seven daily double for a buck, $15.47. The pick three, seven, six, seven, one hundred sixty dollars twenty one cents. Race eight is our Wednesday featured event. Scratch both of the also eligibles. Six Miss Quest is owned by Telema Family Trust. That is a Richard A. Telema. We have a couple of additional workouts. Three Crickenberger, Turfway Park, 23rd of December, half mile, 50 and two fifths breezing. 10 Wave Skipper, also here at Turfway Park, 29th of December, half mile, 50 and two fifths breezing. 9.51 is the post time for our eighth and featured event on the Wednesday card. It begins our late daily double, 21 minutes away. And there they go. Crickenberger quickly away along with Miss Quest. Carolina Lake, a forwardly position. Also up close is around the sun. But it is the gray, Miss Quest, who is the quickest of all at the 7-8s. Around the sun, it's into the second spot. And from the far outside comes King's Legacy striding into third. Carradina Lake is into the fourth spot. She's in the two-path inside of a tag team. And further out in the field is Divinely Bolt. Then we go to Poruna Cabeza, Crickenberger from the inside. Lakeside Music races with Methodology. And Wave Skipper is the last of 11, and it is Miss Quest, the first of 11 at the 5-8s, 24. And some change, 24 and two-fifths that opening quarter. Around the Sun continues to follow the leader from the second spot. And along the inside, Carradina Leica, divinely bolts, moving up with a wide run. She is outside of King's Legacy. Tag team is trying to advance a little less than three off the lead. Crickenberger, three and a half for four from the front. Poruna Cabez is trying to hit her stride going into the far turn run. Methodology still on hold. She has about six or seven lakes to make up. Wave Skipper joins her. Lakeside Music still at the back. And Miss Quest did a huge number still at the lead. Divinely Bolt is all in. Likewise for Poruna Cabeza. Carradina Lake just crying out for somewhere to go along the inside. Looks like she's full of run. Crickenberger has a better path to the leader line. She's making her move to the far outside. Carradina Lake is still crying out for room in the two path. Miss Quest, Poruna Cabeza. What a trouble trip for Carradina Lake. Here's Crickenberger who gets the run. Crickenberger has the lead. Now Carradina Lake has room. Can she make up the necessary ground? Crickenberger, Crickenberger. Crickenberger for Miss Quest. Caradina Laika was much the best. What a trouble trip for her. Then Wave Skipper and Poruna Cabeza. Crickenberger is the unofficial winner, taking advantage of a very clean trip. Walter Rodriguez guided her to the extreme outside to avoid all trouble. Just like in the previous seventh race, the Overland route was the path for success. Three Crickenberger. The unofficial winner, Six Miss Quest, lasted a long time. What about the four, Kiradina Leica? How good was she this evening? Such a shame she's not going to be getting her photo taken. I do believe she was the best here in tonight's eight. 140 and 34, 100. 10 Wave Skipper checking in fourth. 3 6 4 10. 3 6 4 10, unofficially in the eight. Once again, repeating the final running time 140 and 34, 100. Crickenberger is in the winner's circle. She is the unofficial winner of tonight's eighth race, a four-year-old chestnut filly by a tapature out of the Dixieland band, Mayor Kulin. And by Foster Family Racing, along with Douglas Miller and William Wargel. Eric Foster, the winning trader, winning jockey. Walter Rodriguez, the winner, was bred in Indiana by William Butler. And race eight is official. Prices are up on the board. 673, pick three, $143.61. 677, pick three. $5.94. Fans, you are reminded Seven Tiger Tap was a late track veterinarian scratch. Big exacta from the eighth race, 3 6 the winning combination, $846.04.
Seven seven consolation double five dollars nine cents ten cents super six thousand four hundred forty four dollars eight cents. Look at the dollar super better than sixty four thousand dollars. Six seven three pick three once again one hundred forty three dollars sixty one cents six seven seven five dollars ninety four cents. How big was the trifecta? One thousand twenty two dollars eight cents. A seven three one dollar double one hundred eighty one dollars sixteen cents. Dollar Super Vecta, $64,440.89. We had a Dollar Super earlier in the card for $51,000. We have eclipsed that here in the eighth race. A Dollar Super Vecta, better than $64,000. The nightcap on this Wednesday card, post time in 20 minutes at 1024. One, two, a 10 and 12 all scratch. One Scarlet Miss, two maybe Wicked and Wild, a 10 Boyne Valley. And the 14 Halcyon Days, 1, 2, 10, and 14, all scratched from the nightcap. The 13 draws in, picking up the services of Edgar Morales. 13 Outlaw Woman, new jockey, Edgar Morales. Outlaw Woman is situated, ready for the Wednesday nightcap. And there they go, Caladium with a slow start. Quick start for Zealous. Mischief Jack wants to go. Also up there, Grace and Glory, our Queen Candy, fleet of foot in her initial look. Grace and Glory, our Queen Candy, and Mischief Jack. From the extreme outside is Outlaw Woman covering a Zealous. And inside of both of them races Vacation. Your Kitten Me is a little less than four lengths off the lead. And it's a break of at least two or three lengths to Carcore with Nobody Loves Me and Caladium. Along the inside, Grace and Glory, the speed of the speed, arriving at the far turn run with a length advantage. Here's Outlaw Woman and our Queen Candy. They're both going to ratchet up the pressure. Mischief Jack from between runners. Celis tries to get involved. Your Kitten Me needs somewhere to go along the inside. Has a little bit of a look. Then we go a length back to Vacation. Nobody loves me to the far outside. Charcoal to her immediate inside. And Caladium's trying to find somewhere to go along the inside. They're all following in the footsteps of Grace and Glory. Outlaw Woman is there. One had some trouble. That was Vacation who lost the jockey. Grace and Glory with the lead. Here comes Caladium. Caladium storming home to the outside, Dee Dee McGee and Kelsey Danner and Adam Biskitza. Bartender doubles all the way around. Grace and Glory was second, then our Queen Candy Outlaw Woman and from the inside, you're kidding me for the super high five. So the inquiry sign is up on the board. Number four, a Caladium. Is the unofficial winner at 9 to 1, 113 and 35 one hundredths the final time. Once again, the inquiry sign is up on the board. The stewards want to see what happened with that incident involving number nine, Vacation. Here's Caladium under the slow mo. Grace and Glory, our Queen Candy Outlaw Woman, you're kidding me. They complete the order of finish for the super high five. Four, five, Three, 13, and 6. Once again, hold all tickets. Stewards are reviewing the stretch run of our Wednesday night here. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a disqualification here in the nightcap for Caladium has been disqualified from first and placed last for interfering with nine vacation in the stretch run. New numbers are 5, 3, 13, 6, 7. 7 Mischief Jack now completing the super high five. New numbers 5, 3, 13, 6, 7, once again for Caladium. The original winner has been disqualified and placed last for interfering with number nine, Vacation. And here are the prices from the nightcap. 5-3 exact to $39.46. Trifecta 5-3-13, $143.48. A 3-5 late daily double for a dollar, $176.49. Late pick four, $980.81, 10 cents super, $92.57, dollar super, 5313, six, $925, and some change. Our late pick three, seven, three, five, $324.46, 775 consolation version of that late pick three, $14, six cents. The late pick five is worth $28,978.05, dollar super high five, $2,966.54. 
Again, for Caladium, the original winner disqualified from first and placed last for interfering with nine vacation in the stretch. All right, we have a pick six carryover into the Thursday card, $18,230.45. $18,230.45. Four out of five in our late pick five is worth $129.87. And for good measure, I will give you that late pick five payoff once again. Definitely worth repeating. $28,978.05. Coming up on television monitors will be a replay of the stretch run. For Caladium, green cap, pink silks, pink blinkers. Gonna come out, and you see the trouble caused for nine vacation. As the four Caladium came out, nine vacation clipped his heels, unseating Victor LeBron. Stewards felt this was enough to warrant the disqualification. Four Caladium comes out, causing interference with nine vacation, thus resulting in the disqualification of four Caladium from first to last. One more angle, there you see it. Four Caladium comes out. Nine vacation, had all sorts of trouble, clipping the heels, unseating Victor LeBron, more than enough to warrant the disqualification in the opinions of the stewards for Caladium, the original winner disqualified and placed last for interfering in the stretch with nine vacation. Five, three, 13, six, seven, you top five finishers. Once again, there's that 20 cent single six jackpot carry over $18,230.45. That's a wrap on our Wednesday card. Sure hope you had a great night of racing. We will do it all over again tomorrow. 555 first post. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.